Hey everybody, welcome back. This video is going to be devoted on doing the final cleanup and paint of the engine cases. And I'm starting out by showing you uh, some of the original photos of the engine before we got started on it to remind you how bad this engine was. It's probably one of the worst that I've, that I've uh, restored. But anyway, once we got it apart, uh, as you recall in some previous videos, uh, the engine cases were in really bad condition. Uh, they were weathered and full of oil and grease and dirt and grime. <clears throat> and this video is really going to be devoted on how the different methods that I use to uh, clean them up. I start out by scraping off all of the loose dirt and, and grime that's on the cases so it doesn't clog up your parts washer or whatever. And I've had comments from people saying to power wash them and so on, which I've done. But I tell you, there's nothing like investing a little sweat equity and spending the time to get them really, really clean. And <clears throat> this is just the method that I choose to use. So once I scrape all of the loose dirt and grime off of there, then I uh, put it into the parts washer and spend a little extra time to get everything really clean and all of the dirt and grime and grease off of the cases. And then after you do that, you've got to uh, strip the old paint off the cases, which uh, I will be doing after I get them nice and clean here. So it can take, depending on how dirty they are, it can take, you know, you'll spend 45 minutes or an hour cleaning them the way that I'm doing here. This is just a little more gentler way of cleaning them with the solvent than uh, if you power wash them. So the engine cases are all nice and clean now. And I just want to kind of show you the results. And considering what these look like when I first tore the engine down, it's pretty remarkable how nice and clean they came. So you sure can't judge a book by its cover. This engine was one of the ugliest engines that I've seen in a long time. As you recall in a previous video, with all kinds of junk in the engine, broken pieces and staples and etc cetera, etc cetera. and considering all of that these engine cases came out really nice and again you know i use the solvent which is toxic and everything else you have to wear a mask and gloves and everything else and it might be kind of a pain and tedious to get them clean but I tell you nothing works better than the solvent as you can see and here's the outside of the cases and as you can see the solvent got all of the grease off of there so now I'm just left with yellowed paint and stained paint uh, looks like there's some black spray paint on there and again you know as I mentioned before I'm going to use a paint stripper on these to get all the old paint off because these were all painted from the factory and then they should look really nice after that then I'll repaint them and they will look brand new when I'm done a far cry from what they were when we started So now I'm going to go ahead and uh, strip the paint off and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so you can see the result of the paint stripper. You can just see all that old paint just bubbling right up. So it just shows you how much paint is on these things and that it really needs to be taken off of there before you repaint 
So now I'll just hose this off and it'll be pretty much back down to bare metal then. Okay, so now here are the cases after the paint has all been stripped off. And we're down to raw aluminum now. And because of the amount of exposure this engine had, there's a whole bunch of, you know, staining and, and uh, surface corrosion and so on on the raw aluminum, which is really not a big deal. You have to just kind of go over everything with the wire brush. Now, I've gone over most of this with a wire brush and gotten most of the flaky stuff off of there. Uh, but, you know, there's still some remnants left of the old paint or stains or whatever, which there's really not a whole lot you can do about that. I mean, this, this is the old paint right here, which is pretty much etched on there. And as long as you smooth all that out, then I think you're okay. Now, what I'm gonna do at this point is prime these with an etching primer, and then I'll repaint them. And like I said, it'll look brand new when it's all done. It'll be nice and smooth and, and clean finish. But anyway, you see the importance of getting the old paint and everything off of there to get it down to as raw, you know, much of the raw aluminum as possible. So on the next video, I will uh, be priming these with an etching primer and then painting them. And then the fun starts. We'll start uh, building these in this engine back, back up again. I'm waiting for some parts right now to come in. So I'm not going to be able to, I'll be able to start, you know, putting the oil pump back in and the, uh, the main and rod bearings and all of that and putting the pistons on the rods and all that good stuff while I'm waiting for parts on, on the rest of the engine. So anyway, on the next video, we will start putting this thing back together again. And also, I just wanted to bring you up to date. Uh, I'm going to be starting the restoration on this uh, CB1100F, this 83-1100F. I've had a couple of people comment that uh, they have 1100Fs, and I'm going to do a full frame-off restoration on this bike right here. So uh, this bike actually looks really bad, but it's an 11,000-mile, uh, original 11,000-mile bike, and... It just needs some loving, so I'm going to get it. I'm actually going to get it running. I'm having the carburetors rebuilt right now, and I'm going to get it running. I'm going to check the compression and so on to make sure that the engine's in good shape. Uh, if it is, then I'm probably just going to re repaint the engine and get it looking nice and, uh, you know, just just leave it that leave it at that and put the rebuilt carburetors on there but if the engine has low compression or if there's a problem with it then I'll rebuild this engine as well so anyway probably in the next week or two I will be tearing this bike down to the bare frame so that we can get going on the restoration on this and I'm gonna have a full set of videos on that so um, disregard the 750 side cover on here that's not correct of course so um anyway uh, like i said i'm going to do a full frame off restoration and i'll have a full set of videos on every every step of the way so for for you uh f bike guys out there it should be interesting so um anyway leave comments and uh tell me what you think and um we'll go from there so that's gonna be it for this video. And uh, I just wanna uh, remind you to please uh, like and share and comment and so on uh, on my videos because it helps me for future videos and it also supports the channel. So um, anyway, thank you for watching and 
I'll have another video coming up very soon. Thank you.